Hello and welcome to uh, another video that's kind of linked to the how to start a website from scratch although I've actually put them in a different playlist um, just because you know you don't have to look at them they're not essential but you don't have to look at any of the videos hopefully hopefully the book does everything for you but uh, uh, I thought I'd show you how to do the Yoast SEO plugin, how to set it up. Here it is. Here's Yoast. It's on the sidebar here. Click in general. And then it has a configuration wizard. So I'm going to show you how to quickly go through this. It's not actually that difficult. Um, my site is now. You can do either here. It doesn't I just do this. It's not really live because there's nothing on it, but I don't care. Let's just do it anyway. Um, okay, you got to choose what you want to do here. Um, I think I'll go for. I think I'm going to go for portfolio. Remember, you can always change these. Um, um, if you just put person. Um, that'll be a um, that comes from my importing importing stuff. We'll have to get rid of that. Um, just do person for the time being. If you want to do an organization later, you can. I mean, obviously, if you have a logo and things like that, then you can do it, but you do need a company name and a logo. So, um, probably I'm just gonna go like that with person uh, posts yes pages no because our pages are only the legal stuff that we don't really need um, not on Google anyway certainly but posts definitely um, multiple offers you can say no I mean later on if you want to say yes you can but for the moment let's just leave it at no um, We'll just use that as a separator and and look you can sign up for this is quite good if you want to learn how to do stuff better then signing up is definitely a good idea um, I've done this before so I'm not gonna bother um, there's lots of good training on Yoast there's keyword research training that's a good one as well so um, from the point of view of training Yoast is very good if for no other reason but it's good for your um, writing as well so um, now as you can see each of these plugins has a get Yoast uh, a premium option Remember, you don't need to do any of the premium options, or well, certainly not yet. Um, now, for features, all this stuff you can keep. Um, and uh, XML sitemaps, this is important as well. We're going to do, I'm going to do another video on the search console google search console and you'll need sitemaps for that but we're not going to do it yet um you can do this if you want um so you can pretty much leave everything like like it is uh, i wouldn't bother with this either um you know it's pretty uh look at the question it says it's pretty much it's pretty much sorted and um, with Google Google your site is on the Google is on Google Analytics so so you don't need to worry about that so basically that's it um, I mean there's other things there's you can go through each of these and have a look okay uh, for example this one is better like that you don't need your tagline um, 
you've got to, you know again read through each one of these look through each one um and if you you know if you want to learn more about them learn more about them um breadcrumbs is worth enabling you can leave all that like it is um bold the last page that's that's worth doing um let's save the changes there um search console you know again you have to go through need to go through ah yes yeah so that's that's gone for some reason i don't know why that happened but don't worry about it um what it does do is say visit the google search console um this is something you've got to set up as well um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let that load because then i'll have to blur everything again um but we'll do another video about search console okay then the social stuff is you know social media which is worth doing um tools I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about this either. So really, again, you know, you can you can get as much out of these sort of things as you want to put in. So if you're just interested like Yoast, we've already talked about this. When you're writing a post, um, Yoast is let's just bring it up again yoast is automatically at the bottom of each post there it is and you want your key phrase or keyword here and then yoast will do the seo and readability and you just want to make sure that both these are green if you can okay and then you've got the social there as well if you want to link i never i don't bother to be honest but you can um, I should do though, you know, I'm just not very good with social media. I don't really, um, I mean, I understand it. It's just, I find it a bit boring. Um, I much prefer for Google to find the content and build my sites like that. Um, anyway, that's it. Okay. So we've done it again. So that's, that's all sorted for, um, Yoast. So this should have a green tick and as I said you can you can sign you can watch their training uh, and that they are they got the Yoast SEO Academy um, we got lots of free stuff you can watch all right so thanks for watching that that's a very quick overview of how to use um, Yoast and I'll speak to you again soon. And I'll, I'm going to do the hummingbird plugin.